hundred percent chance of winning, and as you know, I'm hundred percent. You, you I, think I'm he's definitely going to win? Going to win. You're positive. I'm, Trump's gonna I, win. The, the race is closing, despite Mrs. Clinton's dumping is, hundreds of millions of dollars relative to his four million or whatever. You think Hillary Clinton has a zero percent chance of winning? All right. Let's say 10%, 15%. I just think he's going to win. As I walk around here and I watch the people and I hear people uh, either talking to them or overhearing them, here's the sense that I got. Oh, no. Trump's going to win. Do you believe your prediction enough to put your money in a legal way in a betting market behind your prediction? Yes, I have. I've, uh, I've uh, gone all in in the Iowa market, which is sort of the oldest prediction market where it's legal to do that. And uh, I bought uh, shares for the Republican candidate way, way uh, a long time ago, and I'm sticking with it. So do you think you can win? I know that's a loaded question for a man who's been backing Donald Trump for at least a year, but is it not, it's not too late, you say? Uh, my prediction is that he is going to win. Uh, and uh, in, in the big picture, it's going to be a tough May for Donald Trump the way the map looks, right? I, I think Donald Trump will win on the first ballot. I think they're going to win it on the first ballot. No presidential nominee in my lifetime went into the national convention as the front runner uh, and didn't get the nomination. What do you mean by that, that the Democrats <clears throat> don't take uh, Trump seriously at their own peril. Well, I've taken him seriously. I mean, I, I felt last fall that he would be the Republican nominee. I, I... Alan Lickman, looking at history, which is probably a good indicator instead of all of these polls, pick a Trump victory in November. Alan, great to see you this. I've been predicting he's going to win in a landslide since last year. Not just the nomination, but the presidency. Yeah, I think it'll be one of the biggest margins of victory uh, in, in history. March. Jake Novak of CNBC correctly predicted that Trump would be the GOP nominee, but said that would be the end of the line. Now he's going where few other American journalists have gone before with a story headline, I was wrong. Trump will be the next president. Jake Novak joins me now from his home in Long Island, New York. Welcome, Jake. That is quite a change in opinion. What, what made you change your mind? Well, first of all, I looked at the poll numbers, you know, mathematics, mathematics. And it does appear that Trump is closing in on 270 electoral votes and could go significantly higher than the amount he needs to win. Oh, there is a path to 270, very hard, very tough. He's got a thread of needle, but very tough. Well, I think you're largely right. I think, you know, Trump could either come very close uh, or he could win by a surprising number of states. And which Republican candidate has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. 